Okay, naturals. I am coming at you as quick as I can today. I know the last video I made was extremely long. I will never make a video that long again, I swear. Um, about the Terra Essentials and my experience with it. So, what I've decided to do is keep you guys updated as much as possible because all of the videos that I've seen for people that are using the Terra Essentials shampoo, um, they do like one or two videos and then that was like, you know, last year and I don't know what's going on with their hair now. So I'm going to try to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. So yes, still using this. So after the last video, I did my fifth wash with this and... Um, the results were much different than the last four days I had been washing my hair in a row. Uh, my hair still felt soft, still felt moisturized, and was still manageable. But um, it had this stripped feel to it. And I could tell at that point that my detox period was done. Like, I never knew how long I should do the detoxing period. And I knew at that point I was done because... Once I shampooed my hair with it and rinsed it out, uh, my hair needed some conditioner bad. Uh, I had gone those four days with nothing but just this, and my hair was like, um, hello. Okay, that was fun, but now this is over. Let's get back to the normal routine. So that's exactly what I did. When I got out of the shower, I got my Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose, um, put it in the bowl. I got about two, three tablespoons of honey. I added some, uh, about a tablespoon of mango butter, tablespoon of avocado butter, tablespoon of cupachu butter, um, and then I added about a tablespoon of olive oil, jojoba oil, and coconut oil, probably even a little bit more coconut oil in there, and mixed that all up, got a real good whip pudding type thing, put that all over my hair in sections, and went overnight with that in my hair. And when I woke up that next morning and rinsed that stuff out, my hair was back to normal. And it was very soft, very moisturized. And by me doing a 30-day wash and go challenge, with the exception of one, like, three days I went with the twist out, um, and then washing my hair five days in a row, I was like, okay, so we're going to give my hair a little break. <laughs> so I am in twist right now. Um, they're pretty small, as you can see. Um, took me all day, of course, to do them. Um, my twists feel great and my hair feels really great. So I'm, I'm very happy with the results and definitely going to keep on this challenge. What I use to twist my hair, um, of course, after you shampoo with that stuff and then I did the deep condition overnight, rinse that out. Um, I let my, I put my creamy shea butter mix, homemade mix on. And I went for a couple of hours and let that kind of air dry just a little bit. And then I started twisting uh, my hair. And I just grab hair and twist. And I know that's bad. You should really section off your hair, honestly. Uh, because if you're playing in your hair or trying to moisturize your twist, um, you could grab hairs that are like in other twists and everything and cause breakage. So you should really kind of part your twist and everything straight. But I didn't. I just grabbed hair and twist. I'm like, whatever. Um, so I have my creamy shea butter on and then I went to the store and they were out of my Arby Organics, um, Mandarin Magic. So, uh, I remember Jacob Seven talking about the Kiss My Face Upper Management Styling Gel and this was at the Whole Foods Organics store and read the ingredients, all natural gel and this stuff is awesome. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you my twist up close so you can see. I'm going to take one apart, unravel and take one apart so you can see the definition in the twist. And this is how I take my twist down. I start at the bottom and I just kind of let it unravel around itself. Okay, so this is with the kiss... My face, upper management gel. Um, when I twist my hair, I can't help but to twist the way that I do, ladies, I promise. Um, I twist really quite tight. I'm sorry, quite tight. And I just go around, and I'm literally wrapping my hair around each other. And I try to go as fast as I can, but I just can't do it. I watch videos, and people who do, some ladies that do twists are like, 
going super fast and all the way down to the ends in their hair and I'm like huh, I wish I could do that but I just I twist really tight and my hair always is wrapped around each other kind of like a corkscrew um, design and I get that a lot that my hair looks like corkscrew it's how I twist and that's the only way that I know how to twist I twist really tight and that's why my curl or my definition in my twist are very defined because I twist my hair really tight so that's that and then I when I get close to the ends I just wrap that around and coil the bottom that's it um so this is going really good and I'm, I'm very pleased with this and I'm going to keep on with this. Um, to address a few questions that I got from the last video, um, a lot of people were saying the products that I was getting rid of and I was not going to use anymore were probably still good for my hair. And you're probably right. Um, I know the Kinky Curly products like the Kinky Curly Curl Custard um, and the Shea Moisture products, they do not have ingredients in there. Um, from what I read that was harmful for my hair and that I can use with the Terra Essentials. Um, what I'm trying to do is avoid from using so many different lines of products. So that's why I decided to just strictly stick with Aubrey Organics. Um, no problem using the other products. I could probably still use them, but I just don't want to personally. I just want to use the Aubrey, this, my oils, my butters, my stylers. That's it. That's all I'm going to use. But the other products, the Shea Moisture and Kinky Curly Curl Custard are fine. Everything else either had like cereal alcohol, some sort of protein in it, or some ingredient that was not good and would not work with this shampoo. And that's why I got rid of it. And thank you ladies so much who bought a ton of things off of my blog. I love you to death. That's awesome. Everybody's packages went out, so I hope you're starting to get those in the mail. Um, and then one last thing, today, officially, as of 2 a.m. this morning, I hit 1,000 subscribers. Hey! I was very excited about that, y'all. I was like, yay! So I gave a special shout-out to that person on their YouTube page, and I actually thank everybody that subscribes to me on their YouTube page, but I'm very excited to hit 1,000 subbies. So yay, and thank you guys so much. And... Like I said, I'll try to keep you updated as much as possible, but this is this is hopefully a good thing.